will wake up and find out you have 50, 60 years. You have not built any house. Your grandchildren, your children are still living in one room. With all due respect. One way the devil distracts us and robs us of the power to choose is giving excuses and offense. These two things. Excuses and offense are Satan's weapon of mass destruction. The moment you master the art of giving excuses and then you bring yourself to a life of offense, you will never have the capacity to make quality choices. Why is your prayer life still down? Well, you see, there's no light in my compound. I'm staying in a place where there are many noisy people and you know how this prayer thing, you need time. Excuses. Are we together? Yes. What did you do with the five million naira that they gave you? You know the way this country is, eh? I want to explain something. This, rather than taking responsibility to say, listen, I wasted it on riotous living. I am a prodigal son. I need help. Hello? The moment the prodigal son made up his mind to choose well, no demon in hell could keep him there. As powerful as Satan is, Satan could mislead him to leave the house. But the boy, can you imagine? No prayer warrior was interceding for him. By himself, he said, I will arise. Where were the spirits when he was going? The devil is not that powerful. It is the manipulation of your understanding that regardless what you choose, he can veto it. It's a lie. If God respects your choice, every other spirit must also respect your choice. He said, behold, I stand. Watch this. Behold, I stand at the door of your heart and knock. Who is knocking? God. Satan too knocks. It's just that he doesn't tell you he's knocking. He's too proud to admit that he needs to knock too. So he will manipulate you into believing. Give me the keys to your heart. And you give it to him. So he can open the door any day and any time. That revelation that God knocks is powerful. Every other spirit that has not been knocking, force it to go behind the door and say knock. And if you hear no, go away. Hallelujah. I will arise and I will go to my father. I will arise from this life of foolishness. I will arise from this misbehavior. Why is it that all good people keep living my life? I think there's just some disfavor. It's a lie. Every, you have made up your mind that you would talk anyhow. And people don't want you to be talking anyhow and carelessly. So they take you away from every time they are having their friends come around. If you say I'm coming to, they say, please, you are not invited. Is because of your mouth. It's, this is the self-inflicted cause. Because once you come there, you will rubbish that meeting and the business meeting will end up being a wrestling because of something you will say. Choices. You can make up your mind that I will trust God to teach my lips how to speak. I have taught you that everything God gave man, God gave man control over. Say control. Please shout it. Say control. There is nothing God gave man that God did not give man control. Anything God gave you that you lose control of it, a spirit has taken it over. Your appetites, your passion, your thinking, if it is God that gave you, he also gave you the power to control it. Is someone learning? I continue to watch people make bad choices with their lives. Destiny damaging choices, even Christians. And yet they are surprised why certain outcomes continue to recycle. Do you know there are people today, in all honesty, this year was like last year. Regardless what prophetic word came, because no prophetic word will veto your ability to choose. Prophetic words are announced so that you will know what God wants to do. Then align your decisions and your choices. Are we together? Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. It shall come to pass. It's in your Bible. If thou shalt hearken. Why would God be explaining it to men? I thought he's all powerful. If you want to bless, bless God. If you want to curse, curse God. 
if you want to move Israel out of Egypt, move them. You are almighty. Why does God seem helpless when he's talking with men? Because he gave man one ability that makes man like him. The power to choose. Jesus had the power to say, God, plans have changed. I will not die for any man. These people are crazy. They are coming to die for them and they are not grateful. And God would have respected his choice. I hope you know that. The Bible says he was tempted in every way. Father, if it be thy will, take this cup of me. He said, I have the power to call a legion of angels. Many of us right now, the Lord gave me this message to the body of Christ. The decisions that you are making, you can pray and make wrong choices. Your wrong choices will veto your prayer. If God wants to help you, he will send you mercy. Another person will come and influence your mind. Can I tell you, your choices will influence you more than your prayer life. Hear what I'm teaching you. Your choices will influence the outcome of your life and destiny more than your prayer life. It is the reason why there is a lot of prayer with all due respect that happens in the body of Christ. And yet you do not see people making constructive destiny advancement. Because many believers just pray as a ritual. But they do not purify their decisions to make word compliant pro-destiny decisions. There are people till the next 10 years they will still be poor because of their decisions. There are people till the next 10 years they will never build a house. With all due respect, there are pastors and leaders for the next 10 years they will never rise. And don't say it does not matter. There are individuals whose lives will never make any notable kingdom impact because of decisions. Decisions. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way 